Hey guys, it's May May. And last Thursday would have been the day we do the put me on the spot challenge, which is where you guys choose what I'm supposed to do in the video when we do a live show. And since I wasn't going to be able to do that live, I thought it'd be fun to carry it over to Saturday and just film it for you guys. So on our Facebook group, we did a little poll and you guys got to choose from tools, color schemes, um, themes, I can't remember what all Tamitha put on there, but she put a bunch of stuff on there. And so what she did for me is she went through, and the ones that had the most vo the most votes for it, whatever the thing was, she got me three of them. So here's what I have to use today. I have to use the Cuddle Bug embossing folder. I have to use orange, light blue, and black as my color scheme. And I have to do a masculine card. So that doesn't sound too hard, does it? So, so I got to thinking ahead of time. I did some Pinterest looking. I normally don't get to do that on the live show. Normally it's just like off the cuff, but I had a little bit of a break this time. So here's my base, okay? So here's my light blue. Here's my black. And this is my orange. I kind of know where this is going, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm just going to play and see what happens. One thing I did, I looked at my um, stash for embossing folders that I felt were masculine. And I like this kind of alligator um, skin looking one. I think I'm going to use that. Maybe some ink dragging. Maybe a wood background stamp here. I don't know. Let's just play and see what happens. Let's go to the cuddle bug first. So I'm going to pull that out here and we're going to emboss that orange piece. So I've got my A plate, my B plate, and my embossing folder and my orange. I'm kind of thinking I might emboss the blue as well. And so I was going to stamp it with a wood grain stamp. But I think it would be just as pretty to emboss it. So I may just do that too. Let me run this one through. So this will give me the cuddle bug being used. So there's one of my challenges done. Look how cool that is. Wait till we ink drag that. It'll be really cool. So I'm gonna leave that there. I think I will get an embossing folder. Let me do that for that wood, or for a wood look. I'm gonna use this wood grain folder. I think that'll be cool. Let me put this paper in where it'll all get embossed. Just like so. Put that into our sandwich. Run it through. Look how cool that is in the wood grain. And I think I'm gonna ink drag that as well. So should I do even more texture? Should I add texture to the black? That might be cool since everything's so textured. I think I'm going to. I'm just gonna lay texture on top of texture. Let's find another folder. How about hound's tooth? This would be good. This is my husband's favorite texture. So let's try that through there. Oh, that's pretty. I like it. I kind of like all the textures together. That seems very masculine, doesn't it? Okay, so let's move this aside. Now, I was not given a theme. Um, like, I wasn't given birthday or sympathy or get well. So, I think I'm going to go with birthday. Because if I ever need masculine cards, it's typically for birthdays or Father's Day. But I can do Father's Day later in the year. So, I think I'm going to make this a birthday card. So, something masculine, something very manly. Something laid out like this, I think. I think I'm going to cut a square of white to put happy birthday in right here. So let me do that. Go into one of my very favorite stamp sets. This one is called Big Time Sayings. I'm going to use the happy birthday on here. And here's the happy. Let me move these pieces away. I'm going to lay this out. So here's the happy. And do I want to say birthdays or something else? Let's see. Yeah, let's do happy birthday. Because that way I can use it. Because, you know, typically we run into those kind of cards more often than anything else. And I'm going to stack this up something like that. I think off to one side. Yep, I like that. Let's get a block to put that on so we can just stamp that down. Cool. I'm going to do it in black to match that black that's on there. But you could totally change the color up. A little VersaFine Onyx Black. I love these challenges because they make me step outside the box. And I'm going to try to not get my head in the screen here. But they make me step outside the box and they make me sometimes go into tools and things that I haven't pulled out before. I feel like these colors are similar to last time, though, because last time I had, was it pink and orange and light blue? I think it was something like that. Oh, I like that. Happy birthday to you. Uh, but they do kind of remind me of last time's challenge. But you guys took the challenge on last time and really rocked it out. So same thing here. I want you guys to try this challenge, too. All right, let's do some ink dragging. And then, anytime I think of a masculine card, I think Brad's. I think it might be cool to Brad this piece down. So, let's do that. All right, if you've never seen ink dragging, it is totally fun. I'm going to get a piece of scrap paper here. I'm going to lay this down here. And I'm going to use some ink. I think I'm going to do it with, do I want to use oxides? 
You guys have asked me before if I can use different inks besides my Distress, because that's what I usually use is Distress ink for this. Let's use the um, VersaFine Clayers just because it's a full size ink pad. And I'm digging through to see colors. I don't think I want to go brown. I think I want to go more of a gray. Let's try it with Morning Mist. You guys are kind of hearing my process. I don't know. I'm thinking the more, I was going to go dark brown, but that's too dark. But I think the gray really lends itself to these colors more um, than brown does. So let's try it. All right. Ink Dragon with a full size pad. It's going to be very juicy. So you want to go real light handed. I'm just going to drag across. Look how pretty that is. Wow, that one looks good. And you're just holding the ink pad lightly over the surface and flat. You just want to be flat across. That is so pretty, isn't it? Wow, I like it. And you know what I really like? I like how it's kind of leaving some kind of striations of color. I like that a lot. All right, let's do this orange one as well. Obviously, the black's not going to show, so I won't worry about it. But this is kind of cool. I may do this one kind of heavy to kind of show off the... Um, spots against the orange. My ink's kind of pulling up. I need to be careful because this is a juicy ink pad. But I kind of like that. I like that texture on there for a man card, right? All right, let's see what this looks like. Let me let that dry for a second because it's juicy, juicy. While that's drying, I can go ahead and do this. Look how good that looks. Gosh, I like that. Like that. That's so pretty. All right, what I'm going to do is put this together like this, and I'm gonna poke holes for my brads. So here, I'm gonna take my pokey tool and just poke a hole through both pieces where I want that brad to be. And I am gonna just brad this down. I, could, I really don't have to, I could just brad one piece, but I'm gonna go ahead and stick it through both, why not? I'm just kind of running this through and kind of hollowing out the hole a little bit, so pushing it through the hole and kind of twisting it around to make the hole a little bigger. So I'm just pushing these brads through. I think I'll go ahead and push them through where they go so I can close it down. See how cool, I love that. Open that up in the back. And I just push it on my work surface to flatten it out. Let's go ahead and do this other side so I can keep everybody square here. Push that down on my work surface. I love that together. This color, this pale blue and black is beautiful together. Good choice, whoever chose that one, it looks good. Perfect, there's our brads. Now this guy, I'm going to put over that, and I think I'm going to pop it up with some foam, but I'm going to glue this straight down. Ooh, I like that. So I'm just going to glue this straight down to our little emboss piece. I would ink this piece, but I think I'm not going to because I think it would get a little muddy. I don't know. You could distress ink this little white piece if it's too bright for you, and I totally get it if it is too bright because it is a little bright, but I'm going to pop it up right here. I like how that's looking, guys. I love it. All right, let me get some foam off of this dude. You guys were helping me name this foam circle. <laughs> if you have a suggestion for a name, put it in the comments below. I have not got a name yet, and I would be interested to know what you guys would want to call it. Some people said, just call it foam, <laughs> but they forget that I just can't do that. I have to have a silly name for everything. We just talked about that this morning here at work. All right, run this piece down here, and this piece here, and then stick this on, and then we just need to put it on a card base. Now, this is one of those things when I'm making a card like this that I have no idea who it's for, that I leave the inside of my card base blank because I don't know who or what I will be writing it for. So I'm going to do a white card base, which will make that white birthday section pop. I'm just going to score this. It's a standard A2, by the way. Check this out. That's gorgeous. I love this card. I like the challenge. It makes me step outside of my comfort zone. And it makes me try different things. I love it. And I really think if you're wanting a masculine card, everybody tells me masculine is the hardest. One of the things is texture. For masculine cards, I find that like if you did a search for masculine card ideas, you'd see that a lot of people use texture and embossing. All right, let me check my note and make sure I did everything. Cuddlebug, orange, light blue, and black, and masculine. I think this works, guys. I think the addition of the brads makes it even more masculine. Look at that. Love it. Any guy would love to get this card. Hey, thanks so much for the challenge. Thanks for participating. And now it's up to you. What can you make with these colors in a masculine theme and share it with us? Two places you can share it on our Facebook page, which is called May May Made It and So Did I, or on our customer gallery on our website. I want to see what you guys are making. So head over and share with it. Share it with us and let us see how you do with this challenge. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great one. Talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.